observation is that all those who have believed in formless god have reached up to one level of growth and those who have believed in formless plus form have reached another level of growth all together okay uh, i can give you many examples for that somebody like tukaram which you mentioned okay he is one of those rare saints who didn't even die he just lifted himself along with his body and he went into vaikuntha in uh, vishnu's garuda uh, a lot of you will not believe what i am telling uh, the way even i was dubious when i first heard it okay but uh, the religions that do not believe in god with form always say that the end of life is in death whereas the religions which have believed in god with a form have chosen to believe in a light body wherein you can just disappear you know you can just like meera if you look at her life or uh, shankara acharya uh, madhava acharya uh, uh, or you look at the life of even jesus christ for that matter who resurrected and then uh, you know he went up the mount i forgot the name of the mount and then he just ascended from there uh, and tukaram for that matter all these people have transcended life they didn't die also they didn't require to die but if you look at a lot of our traditional religions uh, like uh, buddhism jainism which believe only in the formless aspect of god if at all they believe in god uh, their evolution ends with uh, physical death you know so my first point to you is that all the streams which have believed in god with form have the next level of opening available of defeating death also you know of uh, a variety of siddhis uh, this is one part so this is to answer your question that if my quest is purely spiritual even if your quest is purely spiritual if you believe in both together uh, you will run far faster uh, that is one part now second part of your question was it does it depend on the person yes some people will by default gravitate towards the formless god some will by default gravitate towards the god with form you know but we should always remember that every person is moldable every person is malleable every person is you know what you say in hindi ki aap har vyakti ko ghad sakte ho even the genes and the dna can be altered science has proven you know so if the uh, genes and the dna can be altered then all of us can mold ourselves towards choosing a path which is more in sync with what we want in life rather than just rely on our wiring so our wiring may be that we just want to believe in the formless god and meditate and uh, just meditate not even think in terms of god but that wiring can be changed so that you can bring both the aspects together at the same time a person who believes only in rituals and who is only doing bhakti and never closes his eyes and does meditation has to open up his mind and see that if i close my eyes i can actually bring in the formless aspect of god also so regardless of what your wiring is if you believe in the combination model of god plus god of form plus formless you are going to uh, progress far faster in life whether your quest is only spiritual or your quest is spiritual plus mental